going on? Jim here, talking about the uh, 49 F3 Ford Long Bed Express. Here it is. So, there is a inner fender. And if anybody out there knows, that looks different. Because the first one, which is the driver's side, is factory with a relief. The original had an opening for the six cylinder, which is a piece right there. But anyways, what I do is I fill this all in and made that nice and round for that. I'm in, I'm in the process of uh, finishing the body mounts for the front clip. The two existing bolts are good. The two lower ones I had to extend because I gave it a body lift about, uh, it's actually not that much, it's only about three eighths of an inch, plus or minus with a couple shims, but the front, this is where I'm stuck at. These are my two carriage bolts, and basically I centered the clip with the core support, and uh, it, in and all the videos that I that are uh, going back for a long time, you'll, you'll notice that this has all been tubular boxed, this chassis. So four or five things that I didn't do yet is net one is drill all the body mounts. The original ones were here but it was a piece of sheet metal so that's what I just did as you can see my holes in here I got it centered and basically bam drill for my my, my new carriage bolts the originals okay the original the original biscuit is not available for this truck what is available is the body mounts and I still had to end up custom making them because I put a custom firewall on the floor and the V8 in this so it all it just changed everything so this is this is what I'm doing for anybody that does have one of these this is a piece of quarter inch rubber it's actually a piece of tube because I'm out of the flat stock. So I just used a piece of uh, radiator hose this time. Uh, two holes. Oh, and if you're asking, hey, how did you get that flat? Well, I used the shop press. Flatten that out. This is my spacer. Which is half inch. T6061 T6 aluminum. Center punched holes. Chamfer them like a machinist. So basically, that is what I used for the body mounts with the original body mounts. All I did was add this piece and these two extra pieces of. Ten mil rubber because the original body mounts has a piece of sheet metal this is a piece of stainless because again this is a custom application the original uh, was a couple biscuits and and you can't get those so this is going to be a lot better you're going to be you know the whole this whole assembly is going to be resting on this anyway so you, you can see how flat that is Basically, what I do is I put that in. No metal touches metal. That's all that you're up to. Okay? That's pretty much it. So the first one goes in like that. The big one goes on next. And then the sheet metal. And then the rubber goes on the bottom 
so it all pancakes like that. So no metal touches metal. And you're asking yourself, hey, what about grounds? Well, that's why you, these trucks had ground straps on all four corners. If you have a truck out there that doesn't have ground straps, chances are that they either rot it off or somebody cut them off not knowing what the hell they're doing. So the firewall has, has, uh, has a ground strap that I just go from the body mount to the frame back to the front fender. Once it's bolted to this, you have ground that goes through the core support because of the nuts, which is, uh, that's all grounded out from the steel of the nuts and the bolts goes right directly to the other side. And the battery hooks basically uh, on the other side of this 302. The starter's right there, so the battery's already there. Uh, I just have to put the battery on, hook it up. The ground is already set, which goes right directly to the bell housing. And then from the bell housing, it goes right to the chassis on the back of the strap. So everything is grounded from there on. I just have to put one more ground strap from the firewall to the chassis to the fender on any one side probably this side because it's closer and and that's it but there you go that's that's what i'm up against so have a good day jim's hot rods beyond there we go